Hello, my name's Dan, and in this quick video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to produce a clean contemporary logo design in Adobe Illustrator. Now, the company for this tutorial, I'm not going to disclose the identity of the company, but I will say that the company name is made up of two words. The first one begins with the letter V, the second word begins with the letter C, and it's around travel, vacation, holidaying, that kind of thing. So when you see the logo at the end, it'll make a bit more sense. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to start by selecting our polygon tool. We're going to click anywhere on the canvas and we're going to make a shape with three sides, which is a triangle. And now we're going to use the scale tool. The shortcut for that is S. I use a lot of shortcut keys. So bear with me if I speed through this too quickly. So we're going to rotate this so the triangle is effectively pointing down. And then we're going to go copy and paste in place and just change the color of that one to white and again using the scale tool we're going to bring that one down like this and just zoom in a little bit there we go just so it's the width around the edge is all equal and then what we're going to do is select both shapes with our white triangle on top and we're going to go over to the pathfinder palette and select minus front or subtract. So now what that's done, if you press command Y or control Y on PC, you can see that this has now become one complete shape and the triangle in the middle isn't white anymore, it has actually been punched out. So if I just create a rectangle and fill it with a color and send it to the back, you can see that the white triangle is no longer there. It's just this one shape. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select our Add Anchor Point tool. We're going to press Command Y again or Control Y on PC and just zoom in a little bit. And we're going to split these into four parts. So we're going to start, I think, probably around here. And it can be very rough for now. Sorry, scratch that. We're going to use the pen tool instead. There's a number of different ways you can do this, but I think this is probably the easiest. We're going to just draw around these outlines like this and effectively split the shape into four parts. If you've got your smart guys turned on, it should snap automatically, which makes it very easy. And just follow that like this. And then the last one up here. Okay. So we split this into four parts, then we've got this middle bit here, and this is going to form the shape of our arrow, because remember it's about holidays, destinations, vacations, that kind of thing. So we're essentially trying to create the letter V in the triangle, the letter C around here, and then this arrow punched out here, which kind of relates to kind of holiday and destination, that kind of thing. So if you press Command Y again, you see this is the shape we've created. So now over here in the swatch palette you can pick four colors. I've got mine already pre-made. And just start to color up the individual sections that you've made. So you get something that looks like that. And then what we're going to do, as you can see this one here I've created a little bit unbalanced so I'm just going to select the red part and just just bring that up a bit and then I'm going to select the black which is our original triangle underneath and just turn that to white to match the background I'm 
and there you go, you have a logo. So you can see you've got the, the V, very subtle V in the shape of the triangle, you've got the letter C there for the second word, and then to represent vacation, travel, destinations, that kind of thing, you've got this arrow that's knocked out of the middle there. And as I said, I'm disclosing, I'm not going to disclose the name of the company, but um, yeah, you can, once you've done this part of the logo, you can go over here and you can add some text. Pick a font, I've just gone with Nexa. And just bring that up. You can spend a lot more time uh, on this um, than me. And then something like that, and you've got a finished logo. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed that or it was helpful, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.